Hey guys, this is my newest useless machine, the Slimestone Sand Bridger, which can make you bridge out of sand. All you need to do is place sand on this observer, and it does redstone, slimestone stuff, and it will keep extending. Bridge out this way, out of sand. So you can do lots of cool stuff with this. You can, you can use anvils too. You can make an anvil trap. And whenever one of these is broken, they'll all fall down. You can use color sand. Or, actually that's concrete powder. Whatever. Make a whole rainbow bridge. And, actually I'm going to do time lapse. Oh, that's a nice rainbow bridge and the most satisfying part of all. Totally worth it. Here's how this machine works. So, first this sticky piston is extended. Then the sand will fall on top of it. But there's a strange bug in Minecraft where if a sticky piston tries to attract slime blocks, which are blocked by a movable block, such as this extended piston, when it's removed power, it will not actually cause a block update, and the sand will just float there. Now, I thought at first that I could just use one piston, like this, and then push the machine forward, but the problem with this design is that when another sand is placed, it causes a block update and makes that one fall. So in the real design, I had to use two pistons right here and it was a little more complicated. This is actually the first slimestone machine I've made other than just a basic flying machine. So it might be a little bit larger than it needs to be, but it still works pretty good. So how the whole thing works is when you place the piston, place the sand here, the repeater will activate this, pushing that, and then this will pull down, pull back this piece. Then this piston will move right here and be activated from this redstone block. This will push the whole three blocks here, activating all three pistons. That will happen all before the sand falls down. So the sand will fall down onto this block right above this one. So, also this after you move this machine, it will send a signal down here, down here, and then activate all three of these pushers, pushing them forward. So these ones have a little bit of delay, and this one has a little delay, but then this one will activate immediately and push the uh, activator away, so that will unpower the pistons, leaving the sand floating in the air above here. Next, this one We'll push that one forward for the next run, and then this one will push this whole structure forward for the next run. So basically that's how the machine works, and if you'd like to try it out or build it in your own world, there's a world downloaded in the, in the description. So thank you, and please subscribe if you'd like to. It'd be much appreciated.